January the 26th, 2017. It, it is 12 or 2.56 p.m. Arizona time. Now, we this is the tree of knowledge. The tree of knowledge. And what I illustrated before, briefly, is the universal, like we say in medical, universal precautions. Universal. Universal language. Now, how this tree of knowledge can lead me into another area or chapter of the real, the real book of God. And it's not something in print. All things, including a Bible, including the Quran, including any spiritual book out there, everything that you see, even these cars, is an element or chapter within God's book. Okay, as we see right here, as we see right here with the leaves, and as you can see, it's widely dispersed. We have leaves everywhere, but you have some areas where it's grouped up and some areas where it's light. So if this front yard had to be sectored up like United States into 50 equal states, then we would sector it up. Okay, but it's still one, one lawn. I mean, one front yard. So even if I got a bunch of leaves over here, an abundance over here, say like, say that's California, and there's a lot of leaves there, and we're having an election, you gotta have two parts. Popular vote is strictly for the state or the sector that in which I sector up. And then you have the Electoral College. Basically, they're like mom and dad to the popular vote. And the popular vote is like the children in that respect. So, each and every leaf here, you say, well, what if it's not a leaf? It's actually a person. Okay, so in terms of your objective and creative mind, as I drilled in people's mind, as objective and creative versus knowledge. Now, what if you didn't put people in there? What if you put weeds in there? The leaves represent, is so the leaf itself is symbolism. Now, what if each and every leaf is a universe or a nation? So you can put in different, in, in place of the leaf itself, and say, Every leaf is a Donald Trump. You say, could you do that? Absolutely. Because there's a planet out there that has a lot of Donald Trumps in similarity of his evolution. And just happen to be Donald Trump is the best of his evolution and of the earth in which he came from. So, and everyone had opportunity out of the billions of people of Trumps there Trump found a way to get to the top. You know, like we see in Olympics, where a swimmer wins by one hundredth of a second. And you got gold, bronze, and silver. So even though it was so ever so slightly, pound for pound, that's why we have Trump to represent and be the middleman to me to round up my people. Now, as a leader of leaders, president of presidents, teacher of teachers, because I'm an apprentice of God. Now, will I ever complete that successfully? Well, we have a lot of religions out there that take very offensive to someone trying to be God. Okay. Is, I don't know if I want to be God. But I can tell you this with certainty. And you see that in all facets of people, and especially in religion, is people practice certain behaviors for the love of God and for the passion of God. Okay? And they are on different levels. Okay? I'm on a higher level. Doesn't mean I'm more valuable than you. We are seen as a group because we are all energy. All capital A, capital L, L, all. If any part of our number system is taken out or mis 
use or abuse, then the whole number system is compromised. So when I, when I say the tree of knowledge is, and when I say that we have volumes of knowledge and insight that I have gathered using my objective mind and what I can expand and contract out of the awesome things that energy has to offer us is no, as long as you just need one tree, one tree in your house. You don't need a $50,000 book. You don't need a $50 million diamond. You know, in the beginning, you figure Adam and Eve and was focused around the tree of knowledge. So, the elements that was exposed in there, of course, Adam and Eve. Okay, man. And then the tree of knowledge means information, energy. And so you got God, you have me, you have Lucifer, and you have also extinction. And then the female. You say, oh, Evan, you said the female, the very last element. It's like, it doesn't matter what order I put it in. You know, like they say, and you say such and such and such, and not in that exact order. Okay, because I can start out, okay, the female, then Adam, and then Lucifer, you know, then the tree of knowledge, you know. So what I'm saying is, when you mix them around, essentially you come to the same conclusion. Eve being made by the bone, meaning we are identified by our bones, but as we learned with T-Rex, is... T-Rex is an example of what extinction is. The, the fruits of extinction's labor means you are extinct. You will not be back into the flesh again of that particular life and species. So, what I see right here, I can spend this lifetime and a million lifetimes hereafter is just to go into the light we have a library just dedicated to the tree of knowledge the tree of knowledge and that's not other libraries that we have there and you and i hope you're laughing when, when i say this but the vagina of knowledge we have a specific library just on vagina you know the or they say the breast you know the female of knowledge the male of knowledge Animals of knowledge, air of knowledge, water of knowledge, everything are like chapters. As we know within a book, you have chapters, you have paragraphs. So it's broken in segments from the very beginning of the book, even to the cover of the book. And which brings about, as we've heard a million times over, is Never judge a book by its cover, especially my book. Because you'll open up and it'll scare the hell out of you. Well, for a lot of people, it does scare the hell out of you. Because it's like, whoa. <laughs> it's like, something tells me there's a lot of work involved here. <laughs> God forbid people would think that you go to heaven and it's a day spa. So, anyways, we'll keep it nice and short and simple. And he's like, yeah, right, Everett. You ever be simple? Your simple version is a freaking encyclopedia. That's what you can least amount. So I, but I am putting effort there. <laughs> Keeping it simple. I can say one and shut my mouth. That's about as simple as I get. You know, like Trump said, we got to put America first in terms of hierarchy. That's why we put our numbers in particular order of hierarchy. But it has by no means mean each and every symbol is more valuable than the other. We have to look at it in its the different values that it does have and hold. So we'll end it right there on this 26th day of January 2017. And from what I can gather off the news is Mr. Trump is doing exactly what Mr. Trump has been training and preparing to do as my apprentice. So, in a sense, you could say it's no fair. Well, it's like, when you look at God's army, he's, 
And someone said, whoa, you know, that's, that's abundance here. That's overkill. Yeah. No, that's God at its worst. You wouldn't want to see God at his best. So, anyways, in terms of Trump, Trump is getting in there and kind of like Larry the Cable Guy. He's getting her done. Get her done. <laughs> so we're in there right there. This is Everett Pierce of Einstein 314. And Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Jesus, and many other life forms or lifetimes that I've lived to help each and every person on this planet. And with that, thank you for your time and Godspeed.